All right, let's look at the transit time. So this cliff knot is in transit time. So the transit time is the movement of product from point A to point B, from the time we ingest until the excretion. So you can look at the transit time as the train going from one point to another. So these are all five accessory organs that we discussed. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. And in between we have sphincters. And sphincters can uh, increase uh, the transit time or they can slow down. And the two important that we're gonna pay attention to are gastroesophageal sphincter, which is a circulatory muscle that prevents backflow of materials from the acidic materials from stomach back into the esophagus because esophagus, there is some mucus, but it's not as highly protective as the stomach. And also there's a sphincter, pyloric sphincter that permits uh, acidic chyme movement from the stomach into the small intestine. So those two sphincters, they control transit time. The normal transit time is 20, uh, 24 to 72 hours uh, clinically. Mm, you might constipate, right? So like if it's more than 24 hours, maybe it's not a good thing, but clinically, clinically it's 24 to 72, time, uh, 72 hours. So the transit time is the time that it takes for the food to travel from the injection, ingestion, I'm sorry, from the ingestion to the excretion. And there's a lot of factors that can affect transit time, composition of meal, a lot of proteins or fatty products that can actually slow down uh, different types of medication. If you're ill, physical activity, during physical activity, digestion slows down. Emotional um, state also can speed up or slow down digestion and the sphincters as well. So that's the cliff notes on, on the motility and um, and then transit time.